All right, hello everybody. Welcome back, Carl again. Today, I want to talk about Get Ten, your electric railroad company product, to work with the Lionel Factory horn board here. So, if you watched uh, some of my other videos, you see I installed this board, this cruise light board, into my diesel engine that came with this horn board. Now, here is actually the horn board, and trying to make the cruise light talk to this horn board, I actually blew this up. So. What I ended up doing was just etching another board because I started lifting traces here from pulling parts on and off. <clears throat> so I went ahead and reverse engineered this board. And so here is the actual schematic from this board. It was pretty easy, easy to reverse engineer because it's all single sided. So what actually happens is um, your AC power comes through, it gets refracted by this diode. There's a 1K resistor here to limit current to pin 14, which is actually your VCC, on this chip. And then there's this 5.1 volt Zener diode, which goes down to ground so that it cuts the voltage off above 5 volts. Now, this is a resistor that goes here, and when you put DC through it, this actually gives it the DC offset to make this transistor go high. And once this transistor goes high, the collector and emitter um, connect together, and it actually starts the process through however this chip works and this board works to actually make it sound the horn. Now over here is a two transistor circuit and I think I want to call this a push-pull circuit. Maybe it's not right. Maybe you can tell us if you know what it is down below. But essentially once this transistor comes active, this one goes active and it actually creates an oscillation which actually puts negative on the speaker so you get your horn sound. Now I'll go ahead and scan this in and post this down in the comments section below here. So you, if you're actually interested in this board, and I'll go ahead and post my EagleCAD files. Remember, I'm sure this has a uh, patent or trademark on it, so you're not going to be able to reproduce it commercially without express written permission of Lionel. However, you can reverse engineer and use stuff for your own well-being all day long. That's completely fine. So I'll go ahead and post these down below so that you can see how they work. So how you actually get the cruise board to communicate and actually work with this horn is you attach a wire right here. And what that does is that spot on the schematic is actually right here. It's right into the base of this transistor. So what, what you're really doing is you're taking away your DC offset because that's what this is doing. When you, If you don't know, when you push the, the whistle button on the transformer, it adds a positive DC offset for a whistle and negative for the bell. And so this circuit actually detects that positive offset and works this transistor. So, what you do is on this connector, let me just flip the page, <clears throat> there's three wires, serial data, nothing, power and ground. You have to attach a wire right here to that nothing post, to that third unused wire. And how I did it was I stuck a very small screwdriver in the plastic um, underneath of this pin. Once you lift that up, the pin will come out and then you can stick that, I stuck it into that hole so that I have a good connection. And that is actually how you get it to work. Now, when I did that, I would get kind of sporadic horn operation without pushing the horn button. When you went in reverse, it would give you clicks. And then as you went over joints in the track, you would get these little clicks as well. So it was very annoying. So I actually had to come up with another circuit. So this was the circuit that I came up with. It is a TMCC to Line L diesel horn. Pin 3 from the cruise light, which is this one here that has nothing connected to it, goes through a 1K resistor. From that 1K resistor, the other end, you're going to tie into the wire that attaches to this board right here, which goes to the base of the transistor, remember. And then from that wire, you're also going to go through a 10K resistor to ground. And I just use the common on this, this board here. So I just took a real small piece of perf board about half this size, put the two resistors on there, attached the three wires, and then put this inside of the diesel engine. And now I have reliable horn output. So hopefully this is useful and helpful to you guys trying to uh, thinking about going with a cruise uh, commander or any of the cruise products. I'm assuming that it's going to be the same deal for the other ones. Not totally sure, but I'm going to take a guess. This actually came off the Cruise Commander instruction manual. It talks about that. In the Cruise Light manual, 
it talks about Operation Horn Control and the contact line uh, electric railroad. And I did that, and the gentleman replied back with, there's so many out there, it's hard to say. So it was really kind of generic response, really didn't know what to take of that. But anyhow, as, in doing my research, I did find this, and I actually did get it to work. So uh, here is actually one of the etched boards. This is my first one I did. Here, this is the speaker output. And I actually ruined this board, taking transistors on and off, because uh, I was having problems with them. And if you're, if you're concerned about them, uh, this transistor here is 2N5172. Uh, this one here had CD9014, and this one here had CIL2328AY. They were the factory board numbers. Now, I ended up using a BC546 for this one, and a BC546 for this one. Now, just be aware that the BC546 pinout is different than these. So, when I redid the schematic, <coughs> you can see here's the first one, and I used the regular transistor symbol here. What I actually did was I did a second board, and this is the circuit I used. I used just straight across. So that way you could put any combination you want. Here's the other one over here. Any combination of the one you wanted. So that's what I ended up doing the second time. Here is that same circuit with the actual lines for the circuit diagram. And I actually got this board the same size as the factory line L board. So you can actually do it that way. Now, I might at one point order this board from Lionel is only $9. And when you take into the cost, the CD9014 chip is like $0.50. Cents. Each one of the transistors is $0.70. Cents. And then when you add resistors, you probably have $5 in parts on the board. And then you have the board yourself. So for 9 bucks, you really can't go wrong. The other part of that is the shipping. They want so much money for shipping, it's crazy. And that's why I ended up making my own. Uh, you know, the, the board's 11 bucks. I think I said 9 It was actually 9 for shipping, 11 for the board. Really, $9 to ship a little board? That's crazy. Apparently, that's Lionel's standard price. I just think it's too expensive. And so for $20, I redesigned the board. Now, I ended up using here a TIP transistor. It was TIP 31A. And so that actually got me a little bit higher sound output. So I'm assuming that they, you, they picked these transistors for some reason in this component. Now, I did find a 2328 transistor from DigiKey, but it sounded nothing like it. And here's actually what that transistor looked like. And it was so quiet, you couldn't hear the horn, though. So I was just playing around with different transistors I had on stock, and that's what I came up with. So you might be interested just to find the original uh, component data sheets and maybe reading it what those transistors are, the HFE and all that other fine stuff and maybe try to find some direct replacement. And that's what I did for the 9014 because I couldn't find this at DigiKey. And I started looking at that type of transistor and I did find the 546 was the closest match. Um, the 547 would probably work. I think the difference in current was 5 milliamps though. So nevertheless, uh, here's the actual size of the board and I actually just traced that out and my board is the exact same size. So hope this was helpful and thanks for watching guys.